Have you ever asked yourself, what exercises should I not do in the gym? If you haven't, this is something that you probably should ask yourself. So I'm gonna give you my top three exercises that I would refer you try to avoid. And actually these three exercises are exercises that I actually don't do with my clients or myself anyway. All right, I may have a few people hit the dislike button on this video and I get it, I understand, but I still gotta let you know how I feel about it. So let's start off with my number one exercise that I try to avoid. I should think everybody should try to avoid. And that's going to be the burpees. I don't care. The burpees is still an exercise that I haven't quite understood why it needs to be the number one thing we do. I will say this. If you're just starting off as a client of a personal trainer and on your first day he makes you do burpees, run. Now, I'm not saying that person is a bad guy or that they don't know what they're doing, but... Uh, they don't know what they're doing. In my opinion, there's no sense of us doing any type of movement like that, especially if we're talking about a high rep situation, because that exercise typically is just for you. It's just for you to tire you out. Let's just keep it plain and simple. Now, could there be some benefits to doing a burpee? Yeah, absolutely. But is the risk higher than the reward? A hundred percent. Now, if we're talking injuries, literally pick a body part and yeah, that can potentially that can potentially get injured when doing a burpee. And at the speed and the intensity that you're trying to do that actual burpee move, you can pretty much damage whatever it is pretty, pretty damn badly. So as a general rule of thumb, I usually tell all of my clients when they first come in, one thing you will never have to worry about doing with me is probably going to be the burpee. That's one of the exercises I stay completely away from. Now, do I have some kids that actually love to do burpees and they think it's fun? And yeah, we may do, we may do them for just for a few times, 10 reps maybe, but it's not something I do with my everyday clients. Absolutely not. Plus I can think of a few different exercises that we can get to the same motions without having that risk higher than that reward. So, I'm at knock burpees. That's gonna be the first thing I knock off my list. Never do. Now, exercise number two. This one was a little bit of a 50-50 decision for me. And that's gonna be the upright row. And for those of you who don't know, upright row is taking dumbbells or taking a barbell and you're raising those elbows to the ceiling. The problem that I have with that is that it's elevation of the shoulders where we're bringing those traps up. And there's also internal rotation of the shoulders which for most people have a lot of posture dysfunctions to where they already have rounded shoulders. So the last thing I want to do is take them, take them into a more internal rotation for their shoulders. Now we're just asking for problems in their posture and everyday functions that can probably bring them strains and pains that we don't want. Now, can some people do these type of movements and it brings no issues? Absolutely. Is this something that you can completely scratch out of your exercise regimen? You don't have to, but understand the mechanics and your posture and how you're supposed to do that motion. And if you have, you do have any type of dysfunctions to where you have that internal rotation in the shoulders already, I would not recommend you do those type of movements or do that type of movement in particular. That also brings me to my third exercise of something that a lot of people can do, but the risk is a little bit more on the higher standpoint of the reward, and that is the box jump. Now, if you haven't performed the box jump, the box jump is just us standing about a shoulder width apart behind a box like this one, and we're trying to explode and jump on top of the box. Now, this is a great exercise for explosion, for power, for a lot of athletes um, to work those glutes mus uh, glute muscle and also work on that triple extension to get them to explode or help them to accelerate. But again, you also want to be careful with movements like this because the moment you slip, I can almost guarantee you shins are coming completely off. That's the least of your worry. That's probably going to be your minimum exercise is, is you scratch everything from the top of this knee all the way to the bottom of that ankle. Now, again, a way for me to avoid that was me going to purchase this foam box here from Amazon. And this does have a little bit of give to it. So it's not as tough or as rigid as something like the actual metal box here but again i have to be careful because if that person does slip they may not scratch their shins because it's not as hard as that metal but at the same time they could flip over and use their hands as a breaking point or their elbows and we're talking shoulder broken arm broken wrist we're talking about a lot of injuries that can occur when trying to perform this movement 
again, is this the exercises that I may throw in for one, for, you know, for one or two of my athletes? Yeah, it's usually on some of my more advanced clients, but I also have to keep in mind when I'm working with an advanced athlete, they're probably going to be exploding and jumping from a very high position or trying to jump on a box that that's on that more higher level. So that means higher level of risk. So if they do fall, then we can almost guarantee that it's going to be some type of major injury. Now they're strong enough to catch yourself and to hold yourself up, but one wrong move or that alignment is a little bit, you know, off or they put that hand down and it's a little bit off. Plus that body weight is coming down fighting gravity. We got a problem. Now, all of these exercises, except one, I think one is terrible, which is the burpees. But these other two exercises, the upright row and the box jump, they're not tremendously dangerous exercises. You just want to be careful and cautious of how you perform these exercises. If I'm talking about the everyday person who's going to work out and do some of these movements on a three to four week, you know, three to four day a week basis, these are some of the exercises that you want to be cautious of because the risk for reward is not on your favor. So you just want to be aware of some of the movements that you're going to be doing for your workouts. However, I will say if you are working with a personal trainer and this is your first day or in the beginning of your, your movements and he's throwing you into a box jump or upright row or even worse burpees, I highly recommend that you find somebody else or have a conversation with that person to go over why is this movement necessary. Especially when we can get the same reward with doing other movements that mimic that same motion, that's going to be safer for us. And that's something that we can really focus and get a lot of time and attention to actually grow or improve that muscle group that we're actually trying to work on. So those three exercises are my least favorite. I don't do them at all, um, even for myself, I, I actually stay away from them. And with that being said, if you want me to talk about some of my three favorite exercises, I can also post that. If you actually want me to jump in on a few more exercises that you want to try to avoid, or that you think that somebody is coaching you should try to avoid too as well, just leave a comment in the box below and don't forget to like and subscribe because they have the channel grow and I can actually help to get my knowledge out to a few people that wants to help. It's all about how well that we can come together as community and build and make sure we're doing things in a safe uh, and avoid as much injury and damage in the limbs, ligaments, joints, whatever, um, so we can continually uh, work on growing and improvement in our everyday life.